it's so weird to start recording yourself especially when you haven't been in front of a camera in ages and um yeah i'm gonna see if this works out i want to start making different types of content and so i feel like this is a better way for me to do that i wanted to start focusing more on makeup content fashion content style content whatever the case may be i just wanted to start expanding the types of content that i usually make so with that in mind i wanted to go ahead and test out this new product first impressions it dries down really quickly so that's really good i do like that um i don't like how it is kind of difficult to spread but I can tell that it's going to give me the best type of coverage that I need or at least like the grip that I need so they really weren't playing when they said power grip like it's giving gorilla grip I really appreciate that especially having really oil a really oily t-zone I mostly get oily around my nose and the center of um, my cheeks like right here and my chin um, upper lip, not so much, or at least if I do. Can you hear that? I love that. I forgot to put moisturizer on this morning because I was actually going to test out a new product from Neutrogena that I had gotten from the store. I got the Neutrogena Stubborn Textured Niacinamide and I forgot to put it on this morning so I just completely forego. Forewent any type of moisturizer this that means that it's going to really put this power grip primer to the test and i'm really excited to see how that goes if not i will figure this out as i get like a little more used to filming this way um i've wanted to be an influencer for so long and i've just kind of never really taken the steps out of fear that i needed to so this is a whole like different journey for me getting into content creation a little bit later in the game kind of foregoing what I've known for so long is really difficult, but yeah, my back was starting to hurt, so I had to get a pillow. Um, let's move on to brows. For brows, I am taking my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Cool Brown. Stunning. Do you guys watch? Um, I don't remember her name exactly, but Neo It Girl. I love her makeup tutorials. And she's like one of the people that re-inspired me to get into making makeup content, making content in general. Mostly because of how calming she makes it seem. And I really enjoy that. Like I really love how calming makeup is because I started doing makeup as a way to manage my anxiety and my depression. I've always wanted to put myself out there, but I always kind of knew that it's going to be a struggle. To, I don't know why. It's been a struggle for me to make friends, keep friends. Up until the last like 10 years, because I've definitely made some great friends along the way. But sometimes it takes you a minute to figure out where you need to be. Um, and I've had a pretty interesting journey over the last couple of years because some know this, others don't. People on Instagram know this because Instagram mainly have friends and family, but I am a licensed cosmetologist, which means I went to school for oral care, makeup, nails, and skin. And a lot of people thought, oh, that's, that's you know, a great path for you. But I realized along the way and with a whole bunch of like health complications that that just wasn't going to be really feasible for me so I just kind of not necessarily gave up on the idea but I'm realizing that I need to go about it in a different way um and I would love to make you know I, I miss doing hair I would love to make content around hair but I just don't know the legalities of everything and how that works out I really do miss doing hair um, I really do miss doing makeup because I had to stop during the pandemic and even before then I had to decided to take a step back and figure out what was going on with my health because I pretty much suffered from chronic pain and I also have PCOS and right before the pandemic hit I basically decided that I was going to start catering towards my 
mental, physical, and emotional well-being. And ever since then, it's just been like a rocky road. Next, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in uh, the color Can 380. It took me some time to reevaluate where I wanted to go with my life and what I was doing because it just kind of didn't make any sense. Like, I loved... Oh, I set my brows with... Oh, 380. Um, yeah, I just felt like I kind of needed to be myself. I felt like I couldn't be myself. I felt like I had to figure everything out because everybody else wanted me to figure it out and because everybody else was mad that I didn't have it figured out um even to this day I still kind of don't have it figured out but I have it a lot more figured out than I used to because I didn't go to college I didn't go to a four-year university I did um, a little bit of community college and then I decided that it just wasn't for me like I, I joined uh, because I wanted to go to fashion school I wanted to go to for them and I didn't have the best grades and basically I just didn't apply myself because I didn't feel like I was worthy enough and like it's difficult because even in like today's day and age post not post pandemic but post pandemic it's really hard for us to kind of figure out what we want to do with our lives especially because everything is telling us that we have to have everything like together um, I just had to like remind myself that I'm 26 and whether I have a job whether I don't have a job that doesn't make me any less of a human being. It doesn't mean that I'm not putting in as much effort. That doesn't mean that I'm not trying. That doesn't mean that I'm not working because I am. It's just the people around me either don't want to recognize it or they can't acknowledge the fact that I'm trying. So it's weird. Yeah, um, that was a shock. But it wasn't until I finally realized that I had to like start talking about my experiences and start being open that I felt comfortable enough to go after the things that I want. I hope this color is not too dark and also I'm showing up a lot lighter on camera because of like the reflection. I, I didn't know where I was supposed to be and I still kind of don't know. I'm, I'm only 26. Like I, I feel like we all need to stop putting so much pressure on ourselves because I am like the queen of putting pressure. I carried pressure from my family back home in Chicago who I had. I don't really talk to like that consistently over the last 15 or so years. Um... I put the weight of my family members on my back and their struggles and their burdens. Like I am the struggle burden bag carrying queen. Like <gasps> let's not denounce that. Um, I also think that I have an e.l.f. problem. Besides the L'Oreal concealer, e.l.f. is pretty much the only concealer that I buy. I really, I love, 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 love their formulas. For me, of course, like I said earlier, I'm an oily girl. I'm an oily girl. Okay, I've always been an oily girl. I'm just, I'm just an oily girl. I, 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 yeah. Anyway, I really love that their 16 hour matte and their hydrating camo. Like it's like those two in combination. It's like Beyonce and Nicki Minaj teaming up to produce feeling myself. Like it, it's so iconic and it honestly changes the world and it changes the game. I can acknowledge when when the world's changed and that was one of those moments um but yeah back to being vulnerable <laughs> like i was saying oh and then i got into a car accident <laughs> in the middle of 2020 honestly with the way my brain perceives time i kind of don't have an idea of what the fuck has been going on the last five years i kind of remember when that was but yeah i got into a car accident not too long after i decided i wanted to take a break like maybe less than a year after i decided i wanted to take a break from doing hair and makeup and then you know i'm still servicing clients like my family but other than that i wasn't taking like real term clients i wasn't in a salon anymore um if i was taking braiding clients i was taking braiding clients that were like friends like i was not taking referrals anymore i wasn't doing any of that and i didn't i really wasn't that great of a hairstylist i mean i was okay hey y'all it's me in the current day i say this um as an update i just got a renewal letter <laughs> in the mail the other day that i basically still have my license so i might be making more content like makeup content and hair content in the future especially with wigs um because i really do want to get into wig influencing that's really why i started like 
being so expressive with my hair and my makeup uh, a long time ago but and I'm also congested so excuse me but that's yeah ignore anything else that I said about being a bad hairstylist I was not feeling the best I'm decent but yeah so I ended up getting into a car accident after I got into the car accident I had to do physical therapy but during physical therapy I was just kind of like I said learning myself over again um, I started painting I started deciding that I wanted to be an artist and ever since then I've just been appreciating the not only amount of people that I've been meeting but the amount of people that I am oh, I just realized I blended that all off camera that I am learning so much and even with doing hair and makeup and seeing like how people are growing and thriving on and off social media it's been like a journey to see this like transformation of people loving themselves and and, and appreciating themselves kind of in the same way that I did like they're they're realizing that a capitalism won't save us which is something that I knew for a really long time but it's like all of the theory that I've been consuming for the past like three years is finally getting um acknowledged by my peers and that kind of goes hand in hand with my abilities because I really was just at that point in time starting to come into my creativity starting to understand my abilities starting to understand who I wanted to be and realizing that it was okay for me to be an artist and that people are not gonna understand the people closest to me the people that I grew up with the people who I went to high school with the people who um, saw me pretty much at my dorkiest and at my most vulnerable and at my most ridiculous they weren't gonna understand and if they did see me then they would understand they would get it because they know that things kind of move on and time changes things and people grow and and it's 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 just a different type of evolution so yeah this is essentially the year that's a lot of the hello this is essentially the year of me realizing and recognizing that if I don't act the fool, then I won't get anywhere. Like, it's a little saddening to know that I've been, yes, acting a fool, but I haven't been acting as much of a fool as I can. <laughs> and that people actually really like it when you act a fool because that shows that you can do more. You can be more of a productive member in different ways. And it really helped me with my imposter syndrome because I'm like damn everybody is just out here acting the ass I act the ass on a daily fucking basis and I can't get attention so it's like it made me feel a lot better and it made me feel a lot more oh shit it made me feel a lot more whole and secure about the things that I want to do in life and where I want to go and who I want to be and like I said just all of these different things about my personality that I just was not giving myself the benefit of the doubt so yeah if you see this, give yourself a break. Don't be upset with yourself over shit that A, you can change and that'll probably change eventually. And give yourself a break over trying to navigate this world because living in this day and age is really, really difficult and it's not the same as the day and age that our parents lived in. And I keep trying to tell people that all the time when I do readings and um, when I have clients who's who's once again whose parents just don't understand they're not gonna get it they're and they're not gonna get it until you show them why they're not gonna get it like you have to literally show people the consequences of their actions so yeah if you see this give yourself a break because i know you're probably around my age and you're probably stressed out i'm 26 you're probably around my age you're probably stressed out about the future and especially if you're living at home and you don't know what's going on literally just try to do what you can nobody but you knows where you want to go so stop trying to let people who don't even really know you tell you where you need to be they don't know where you need to be you know where you need to be so continue to like give yourself that validation because obviously there are people dedicated to to misunderstanding you full stop and that's not something that you really want to deal with especially when you know where you need to be. So if you know where you need to be, go be there. Don't stand around waiting for people to validate you 
when these people are not even capable of validating you the way that you need to be validated but somebody else needed to hear that and i've been telling myself that the last couple of days but stop staying in in spaces or stop listen, not even staying in spaces because sometimes sometimes there's no way that we can get out of these spaces you know sometimes we're just here and navigating along the way but sometimes we need to be real with ourselves and admit when we don't need to be in certain places and doing certain things if you know you're not meant to be in a certain space if you know you're not meant to stay there why are you stressed out stressing out about it is only going to make it 10 times worse to be honest and i've noticed that in like my own self-regulatory practices i keep trying to stress myself out as a way to like calm my nerves and it never works because that's how i was raised <laughs> that's how i was raised was basically stressing myself into security and that never works that that's just not possible you know what i'm saying like it's just not possible um it doesn't make me feel good it doesn't make me feel happy it doesn't make me feel sane and it makes me feel like my mental health is on the verge of collapsing or getting worse so why would i want to continue to feed into certain feelings and ideologies that just make me more stressed out in this whole conversation thing um i don't even know if i want to do a quick fix today i usually use a smaller brush i'm realizing i look super ashy for like a majority of this and it's just this primer is doing its goddamn job look at that even though the sun is like washing me out oh honey the sun is washing me out i look amazing so yeah as we're wrapping up friends keep in mind what i said you know where you need to be you know exactly where you need to be and somebody who's going to try and tell you where you need to be probably doesn't hear you see you validate you want you to thrive exist in real life they already have like plans set up for your life and we're just not doing that in 2023 like and I know I, I really don't want to be one of those people that's like we're leaving this in 2023 we're leaving this behind but it's like do we really want to be around people who are going to a try and enforce their ideologies visions all of that on you or are we just gonna live authentically and when i say live authentically i don't mean the bullshit excuse of um new age spirituality or the the new age version of living authentically i mean if that means cursing some bitches out curse them bitches out if that means um showing people that you're not meant to be messed with or played with in any capacity that's what that fucking means don't let such people walk all over you but if that also means protecting your peace and just going with the flow go with the flow if that means putting up boundaries put up those damn boundaries but you have to listen to yourself you are important okay don't act like you're not number one and number two don't try and make it seem like in this day and age that's what you have to do to get by you don't have to do that to get by you can quite literally exist and be yourself and really i'm not gonna say whoever can't accept that needs to get out of your life but there needs to be a, a moment in time where you have to stand up for yourself and that's what that means whether that be emotionally romantically mentally physically at your job at um, school you have to give yourself like for real you have to give yourself a a pat on the back and b you have to give yourself because living in this day and age is not easy it's just ass who wants to live here you feel me like and i'm not saying like it's a lot of blush i'm not saying like in the united states i'm saying like just in general that's so much blush <laughs> it's okay i'm not really going anywhere you can do this i know you're nervous and i know you're afraid but you have to remember being afraid and being nervous a it's a part of life but b it's also just it's what happens there's nothing wrong with wanting to show up as yourself and being respected for it. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I think a lot of people should really, like, just take their time with themselves. A lot of us were really rushed as children, whether that be emotionally or mentally, like I said, or physically. All of these things. 
and especially if you are black or a child of color um an immigrant you know along those lines you come from a family of immigrants today is not a lash day i will be doing my lashes with the maybelline total temptation mascara and like i said everything is beat up from being in my makeup bag so we're gonna keep it hush hush on the way that my items look okay thank you i feel like especially me being 26 i mean america focuses on being young so much that like when you start college at 18 years old people tell you that those are going to be the best years of your life but i don't think those are going to be the best years of your life i think post 30 if not 30 and up are the best years of your life because in 20s this is just my perspective as a 26 year old okay in my 20s i'm still figuring myself out i don't know who i am and i know that that's like a sentiment throughout life and that a lot of people feel you know up until they have their last breath but in your 20s you're just like it's my third day out here day out just here. like uzi oh, said it's my third day out here how how am i supposed to know what I'm supposed to be doing when especially nobody's going to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing and then what you tell me I'm supposed to be doing is harmful to my health harmful to my mental my mental state I go through all of these things young so I can try and navigate my life as an adult and I think I know what I'm talking about but I have no idea what I'm talking about and I'm just winging it and I could be making potentially harmful lifelong decisions after you know from ages 18 to 25 when my prefront prefrontal cortex hasn't even developed yet that's not scary y'all like why do we put so much pressure on the youth to have our lives figured out like i said once again and i'm gonna keep repeating it i'm 26 okay okay it's not that i don't want to do these things it's not that i don't want to be here it's not that i don't want to be there well, because I'm, for a majority of my life i really did not want to be here um, but as somebody who now is like, okay, maybe we can make this work. I'm realizing a lot of shit <laughs> that I probably just won't be able to either maintain, keep up with, tolerate, all of the above, whatever the case may be. While I navigate this earth and while I continue to live my life on this planet. I'm gonna keep talking and I'm gonna keep spitting facts. I hate getting mascara on my face. I think this is waterproof though, so I can just take it off. This is not my my best face, okay? And I know that the sun is doing me so dirty right now, but I'm gonna finish off the look with a lip liner. I will come back and give you the finished product. So my signature go-to is usually a liner and a gloss. I've been doing this ever since I was 14, 16, probably beforehand. This was the finished look. I am kind of tilted sideways. I don't know if you could tell. My phone is all over the place. I will figure out this whole positioning thing in a little bit, but yeah, thank you for joining me. Thank you for sitting with me and listening to whatever mumbo jumbo I decided to pour out today. Um, a lot of us go through difficult times, difficult situations, but a lot of us just need someone to be there for each other. And I feel like if we can open up dialogue, and I feel like a lot of people have been lately, but I feel like if we can open up dialogue and start talking about the things and the ways that these things have affected us, um, we can continue to grow as people. So, like I said, thank you for watching. I am Brie, Brie Baby Cerrone. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and feel free to do so by either clicking the link in the bio, um, following the little icon, or just following me at Brie Baby Cerrone, B R I B A B Y B E R O N I. Um, I also have a website at BrieZerone.com, but that's just B R I excuse me, B-R-I-Z-E-R-O-N-I.com. Um, I also do paid readings if you want to book a reading. And yeah, thank you for being here.